all right facebook uh we just got to our second job of the day august make sure i'm saying the right date august the 24th uh so show you guys what we're doing this is a new move in new client found me on google they're moving into this house and they want to get the uh, hardwood floor screen and recode it before we uh before they move in uh 636 square feet show you guys what we're doing i'm um, just going to do this hallway right here uh work ourselves here uh, sit in dining room you see right there guys someone put some type of polish down on the floor so we're going to screen that off this is an engineered floor here and over here so a small job uh, like i said 636 square feet we're, we, we're going to go ahead and get started with the screening clean and then recoat some come back and show you guys some results stay tuned i like that laminate uh, floor that's beautiful yeah, luxury valor planks. All right, guys, we got these floors screened down really, really good. Uh, clean the vacuum. So what I did, I tinted my poly, as you can see. This is gonna help give the floors uh, more color. Also, these floors is missing a lot of grain. This is a very old floor. So what we're gonna do is try to help that poly with the tent fill in the grain where it's actually missing. So the grain is still gonna be missing. You can't replace grain, but we are, so we are gonna try to help fill that in with some color so the floors look better than what they uh, look now. Uh, you see right here, see right here, guys? See how the floors are sealing good? But look over here, you can actually, I can take my finger and just feel inside that that wood where it's just the grain is just it's just gone there's nothing you can do about it but replace the boards um and but the customer said they just want to make it look better because by the time they get their furniture in here it's going to fill a lot of that up anyway so show you guys what we're going to start doing i want to go ahead and pour the poly i'm going to let scoby start filling in the edges with the trimmer you see that how it's purple There you go. Yes, sir. Nice. All right, guys, you see how that poly with the tent is starting to fill that grain in, making it look a whole lot better. And this is the first coat, and this is also semi-gloss finish. All right, guys, what we're doing, uh, Scoby was just saying, when we get to these where it's missing grain, we have to press down on the roller to help fill that grain in. You see that? Now, on the next coat, on the next coat, we're just going to go with a clear base. We're not going to have any tint in there. I always want the tint to be in the first coat. You can see how Scobie is pushing down really, really heavy on that roller. All right, guys, check it out. Man, add, adding that tint to the poly, you can just see how it's helped filling in with that missing, um, missing grain was. Look at right here, guys. Look at right here. Look at the big difference. Wow. Wow. Customer already said it looks good. And this is just the first coat. So as you guys can see, it looks purple. But when we start to spread it, it's not purple. 
Oh man. Adding, adding that tint to the poly really, really brought these floors back to life. And remember guys, this is just the first coat. First coat is gonna get the tint. Um, and, I, and this is just from trial and error. Watch out, it's gonna be right behind you. Uh, this is just from trial and error. I always do the, the tint in the first coat, never in the second coat. But sometimes it just gives the floors too much color and it just doesn't look right. Scobie's doing a great, great job. Great job. All right, guys, this is the first coat dry, ready for the second coat. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I didn't think these floors would come out this good. I'm just going to be honest. I did not think these floors would come out this good. And this is just the first coat. Guys, look how the poly and the uh, tint just made these floors just look so much better. Just really brought these floors back to life. I mean, man, amazing amazing so what i'm going to do is go ahead and let Sco uh, scoby um, roll the second coat again i'm training scoby guys because we're getting so busy um i just i just <laughs> need some good help got kevin running the carpet cleaning the poster cleaning and i'm got scoby uh doing uh helping me for now with the hardwood floors because hardwood floors are just really busy but guys man 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 uh, amazing amazing and you guys already know it always look better after uh the second coat is applied all right so like i said we're just going to go with a clear base coat for the second coat and uh go ahead and get that second coat rolled uh, Scoby, I already got your poly uh, mixed up. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Yes, yeah, outside. All right, guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys. You can see that that this uh, second coat is clear. And there's Scoby rolling. Amazing, guys. <laughs> Amazing. All right, guys, the second coat is applied. And again, man, guys, trust me, I, I put my all, my all my effort, passion into every job. I don't care if you guys see this is a small job compared to some of the ones we do. But I will say, man, I'm blown away with the results from this job. I mean, I'm really, really blown away with how great these floors came out. I mean, man, amazing. I mean, just truly amazing. And that's one thing about it in life and business, anything you do, the more you do it, the more you're gonna get better at it. Um, I can't tell you guys, there's so many jobs, I wish I could go back in the future and just redo them. Um, but that's just, that's just a part of growth. You know, you learn from your mistakes, trial and error. And um, that's why I'm glad that clients give me the opportunity to do this and take care of the floors. And I wanna be known as that provider that can save your floors, uh, where you don't have to say, uh, sand them or replace them. Uh, in most cases, not say I can save every floor, but I just want to continue to get better and better at what I do. And I'm going to call the mister of the house. Mr. Smith? Yeah. Come give me your honest opinion. So Mr. Smith is moving in. Um, the furniture is actually coming tomorrow. So I told his wife, I was on the phone with her, just make sure they don't drag it because the poly is still curing. So sit the furniture down. Uh, but man, wow. Wow, guys. All righty. All right, guys, tomorrow is uh, really, I got a, a touch up to do tomorrow, a little touch up, and I got four estimates tomorrow, so nothing much going on tomorrow, but then I'll be back at it, uh, what's tomorrow, Wednesday? Thursday, hold on. What you think, Mr. Smith? You want to put the car <laughs> <laughs> no, you look like the same floor, do it. No, I was 
really concerned about the, yep. the traffic area. Look how much behind. Yeah. Yes, sir. So you don't use a semi-gloss? Yeah, I gave you a semi-gloss. All right, guys. That's going to do it. See you in the next one.